No, they were not. A community group actually came out here with them. They wanted to provide support and they wanted to hopefully encourage people who knew anything to come out and give some answers. Now, I had a chance to speak to one woman who says she knows firsthand the pain of losing a loved one and that motivated her to come out. There's a family somewhere that's feeling some kind of way, so they can't. This air is nothing. Bundled up one door at a time. Dr. Irish Spencer joined Greensboro police officers as they searched for answers in the death of Renata Marshall. Police found the 36 year old shot dead inside her apartment early Monday morning. Imagine if it was you, even if you don't have children, imagine if it was you and you had that person knock on the door. She knows what it's like to see police on the other side of that door with life changing news. Dr. Spencer says her son was killed in a Greensboro neighborhood almost a year ago. And they've already gone down that way. Since then, she founded the group Families Against Senseless Killing, or FASC. They go out into the community and work to rid high-risk neighborhoods of drugs and crime. I look at it like roaches. Once we clean one area, they're going to run to another one. So we're going to keep running these roaches until they run away and these people can raise their children. We don't have to worry about sitting in the house getting shot. And suffering the same tragic fate as Renata Marshall. Police say it's still very early in their investigation. They are following a few leads. They're hoping that being out here in the community today will prompt more people to come forward. At this point, they do believe that Miss Marshall's home, which is right here behind me, was targeted. Reporting live in Greensboro tonight, Janae Lewis, WXII 12 News.